Okay. Uh, paper mill is what I wanted. That's why I built this entire contraption. And it's also connecting everywhere else right now. It should at least connect in everywhere else, because this is all connecting in from that side. And yeah, yeah. All right, paper mill. There we go. <laughs> and built. I have no logs. I know. I've been trying to solve that problem. I'm in the process of solving that problem. I was refining a lot of resources, I guess. Um, okay, so the idea being that I can now move these things. There we go. And then with all of this gone, I should be able to put down a little, a little bit more, some more lumber. Can I move my forester to the right so it includes everything? That would be nice. It's hard to say though. Do I need a second forester? I just feel like the forester is kind of idle for the majority of the day anyways. Uh... No, you can't bring back fertile land. So if you go a little too ham on destroying everything, you can't bring it back. Well, you can bring it back by restarting, I guess. But... What's going on, Raza? But I also need to not forget, though, that I was planting a ton of stuff over here. Or, like, I've been refining a ton of stuff and I've just built, like, this entire, you know, basin. Maybe I've just used up most of my lumber because of that. That's what I'm hoping, anyways, that it will just resolve itself. But that's probably not going to happen. Yeah, it's a very small map. It's challenging, though. But it's fun. I really do like what we've built so far. It's sweet. Is there an endgame? Uh, I don't think I'm eventually gonna die. I think at this point I've got so much water stored and plenty of food. It should be okay. Good on Pulsar. Good morning. I'm having a great day, man. I can't complain. I've got a lot of food and plenty of resources and Most of it seems to be well set up. Right, so let's see. The observatory. By exploring the stars, beavers gain more knowledge about the world they live in. So it's in the same category as the inventor. So this is a new structure. They just added. I need planks. Which I have plenty of. Pine resin, which I also have plenty of. And gears. All right, let's put one down over here, I guess. Is this a good spot for it? Maybe I can move it one over. So it, the, the beavers get an actual telescope. So four beavers work there. Oh, snap. It requires, it requires electricity. 200 electricity. Okay. Uh... Or 
200 horsepower rudder. So I guess we'll put a windmill. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, it takes power. It says 200 horsepower over here and 400 beavers. Or 400. Four beavers. That's kind of cool, though. Huh. Yeah, I'm going to need more beavers. I have plenty of food. This thing also is going to require 10 people. So I guess these will probably generate more of that science. Plus it will probably look a lot cooler than these things. So I can probably move the inventors to become observers instead. But I will have to be a little cautious about it. Oh, there it is. Okay. We'll delete these. At least I'm making the assumption it will just generate um, science things. My beavers won't stop multiplying, so I keep losing half of them to hunger. Uh, the beavers I'm playing right now will multiply as long as there's active space in homes. So I currently have 50 beavers because I have 50 spaces inside of the houses. If you, like, they, they basically reproduce until there's no more space. Kind of like what humans do. Actually, no, that's not really what we do. Anyways. If you give them houses, though, they will keep multiplying. Yeah, you probably want to delete some houses. What? Oh. Is it just because the power wheel is not turning? How is this thing not gener or not connected to a generator? Oh. Dang it, stupid beavers. Uh. Uh. How am I going to get it over there? If I build a platform on it, does it work then? A, bla a platform on top of it works? I can't make a road under it though, that's the problem. Oh right, that makes sense actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the order in which they build it was a little funky. Right, I was checking if the forester could go over here. And it's still reach. No. So I need two foresters. And we'll plant some more maples over here. Okay, a new drought is coming pretty soon, but honestly, we have so much water right now. I don't think it's an issue. Yeah, I've got a huge container of water right now. Hey, the mine is done! It is! Hell yeah! So this is just going to permanently generate 
Uh, it consumes gears. Wait, what? It consumes gears as well as treated planks? To get scrap metal? Okay, screw this thing. We're not, we're, we're not using it. That's a fucking waste at this point in the game. I guess it's like, ultimately, once you have absolutely no other way of getting metal anymore, that's how you get metal. Because the other resources are renewable. That's a complete waste. Okay, we build it! Everyone pork champ, and we'll never use it again. This entire huge project I made, and uh, I guess I'll, I'll gather these over here instead. <laughs> what a waste. I'll have to try and gather it over here, but... It's a bit tricky. I did build a bridge over here. Problem is this bridge doesn't connect in anywhere else. So I need to make a new bridge. A temporary bridge as we break all of this down. No, nah, paths don't connect. Look. So it's a bit annoying. That's exceptionally expensive, but that structure was very expensive. We'll just not use it. Loco, what a cool miner. Are you going to use it? Nope. <laughs> no, it makes sense. So in the end game of this game, right? After you've gathered every single bit of metal and you need more of it, I guess that's the intention behind that thing. That's when you start using it. So does the observatory work during the day? I guess so. Yeah, yeah. We just need the electricity to also be functioning. Oh, yep. Yeah. Look. So it's generating teen s 10 science points. Pretty nice. Uh, why am I not using the mine? It takes a gear as well as a treated plank to produce two scrap metal, which then needs to be refined again. So it's incredibly expensive. I was thinking we need to work 10 people there, but uh, that's not what we need. So 50 may very well be the right number. Good stuff. Yeah, gears are from wood, but I don't have a lot of wood. Man, I have five planks. Or logs, rather. <laughs> What's going on, Mike? Wow, my underground storage is full. Whoa, they're both full. God, I've got a lot of food. I've got so much bread. Making that dough. Very good. That was kind of cringe, wasn't it? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, cool kids in the chat. What's up, Levi? It's okay, Loki, you get a pass. Thanks, guys. I always wanted to be part of the Cool Kids Club. It's an honor and a privilege. Uh, so if I want to build another one of those storage facilities... I don't know where, though. It doesn't fit over here. Oh, look, you can kind of see how it works. Huh. I never realized that. It's got a bunch of underground barrels. What 
Wait, I could put the storage underwater? Yeah, I don't think I need this many. I was thinking the same thing. I could delete two, I guess, and... Do more storage over here. Uh, windmills in the corner should be connected. How do I know if they are? Yeah, you can't actually say or see. I never know exactly how this works, but it should work. So these are delivering power through this line over here. That line is going over here. It's going down and then connects in with the other power that's coming in from the other side. New subscriber should work, detected. Happy two years to me. What's going on, Vets Hunter? Thank you for the two years. You don't think it is working like this? Two years, by the way. Oh yeah, you're right. So you can look at the supply demand. All right. Thanks man for the support. I guess we'll do it like this. Butter to butter. Yeah, so we need to wait until these trees all grow. I guess I don't need that many pines over here. Maybe these are enough for uh, pine or resin. Nah, it's already being gathered. I can cut down these over here, I guess. How much maple syrup do I have? 447, 443 pine resin. Oh shit, I need to, uh... Wasn't even paying attention to that. That's pretty bad. Flot! Just kidding, just kidding, it was a joke. I think I'm gonna cut down trees over here I wish the other trees weren't so pointless I like the look of them they're just inefficient ah it's okay we'll cut them down basin takes so long to fill up <laughs> Does the observatory... Oh yeah, it does move. A little bit at the very least. Alright, so I've gotten most of the things done right now. I can still make cattails and spatter dock. So these are two types of plants that I can only gather by submerging them in water. This is one of the new things they've added. 
Click a single tile and hold the buttons to select an area. So we've done that already in the previous attempt. Honestly, I don't really need it. So what did I get? Carrying speed 10%, life expectancy plus 15%. We should probably look into the maple pastries instead because I've got a lot of maple, maple syrup, but I don't know how. Is that just at a bakery? Oh yeah, it's a bakery. That also, once again, requires logs though. Everything requires logs. My two bakeries are right over here. Maybe I can chuck them on the side. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba, bakery, 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 bakery. Ugh. I mean, I can. No, I can't. <laughs> Sag. Oh, actually, it's wheat plus um, maple syrup. So I could change. Wait, no. Oh, wait, this is, that's a grill. Where's my bakery? I almost, mis uh, I almost made a mistake here. No, but I need, I need both the grill. Or sorry, I need both the, the bread as well as the, the pastry. Because they both give separate buffs. Here's the bakery. How much wheat do I have? 1,097. Got a lot of wheat flour as well. Got tons of bread. Holy shit, I've got a lot of bread. Um, don't I have a regular bakery? No, it is right over here, but I thought that needed power. Am I crazy? Oh, this is not actually needed in this spot. I could save this for another structure. Could have just put my paper mill there, for example. <laughs> would, would have probably helped. Rather than doing the zigzagging that I had to do. Alright, we'll put down two of these things. Everything calls logs in this game, dude. Yeah. It's not too surprising, I suppose. Okay, so this one can do bread. This one can do maple pastries. Very cool. So we can store more stuff over there. No, you can't because the entrance is over there. Or I could have two of them facing each other, I suppose. I don't like the idea of him facing each other. Maybe I should do it though. Because I will ultimately need one for the other recipe too. Oh no, you can't actually do it. Because of the uh, the windmill needing some space. Is there another place where I could fit three? Build platforms behind the first one? Yeah, I could do that, but then the staircase looks a bit meme. Maybe I should try and build up. How much metal do I have? 376. How much does one of those... Uh, 200. Jeez, expensive as hell, man. Actually crazy. Anyways, hypothetically speaking, I think you probably want to put those then in the field. How high up is this though? That is properly high up. How do you get up there? Yeah, 
Yeah, yeah, you need like a couple of spaces at least around it. So I need like a 4x4 four four around it. No, do you need a 4x4 four four around it? What is the most compact amount of space I can build this in? I could make like a line like that. Maybe the line is actually the most efficient way. Obviously not in this location, but... I don't know what the most efficient location for that sort of thing is. On a map this small, it's kind of precious. I think you want to build them above the fields. Build it where the fields are next to the high ground. Is that reachable from the other side? Or is that the exact same height? You might be right. Close to it anyways. New subscriber detected. What's going on Omega Odin? I am 10 months away from a meme. Thank you Sir Loco for the amazing content as always even though sometimes I use you as a white noise machine when I go to sleep. Cheers. I'll take it as a compliment. <laughs> Thanks, dude. No, you can so you can put one story of these things up. But it makes most sense to put them right over here, uh, or like right over here, above the wheat or above this stuff right over here. Just because, uh, like, there's, there's like a... The middle of each of the platforms is a dead space. So it's like 3x3 three three squares, so it's 9 squares in total, and then the middle one. Right? So it makes the most sense to put it in a field. I just need to make sure that there's a step up there. I'll go ahead and get rid of the potatoes here for a little bit. Or some of the carrots or something. Yeah, next to the cliffs is also not a bad idea, but I'm thinking about doing it over here just because that's in the middle of things and I like the idea of it. <laughs> I'm just going to temporarily remove a bunch of these. Just because I, I want to see how I can pull this off. No, I don't think it matters that they are in the shadow. I don't think there's a, a light... Uh... Like, I don't think they need a certain amount of light. I don't think the growth is... I don't know. Maybe. But I think I've seen other people do the exact same thing, so... It's really expensive, though. Like, theoretically, we could move it quite a bit. Uh, no, I don't like that spot. I want to make sure I started in the right location, at least. If we want to optimize space, we should probably do it like this. Hey, nice, I'm the program. What did you get? It's really high, isn't it? No, that doesn't work like that. You can't do a turn in one square. A Fukin tree? I'm not even familiar with that. Ah, cool. Nice. He got a bonsai tree, guys. Pog? I don't know if I like the platforms. I'm not sure. It's incredibly expensive. 
and completely unnecessary unless you've totally run out of space. But, uh, yeah, yeah you could. <laughs> I think I'm actually going to extend the amount of potatoes here that I'm growing as well because I keep not having enough potatoes. I've got quite a few, actually. Loco, build a one platform in a river. I keep building a bit higher and stairs. Yeah, I could do that too. I could start building in the river, but I kind of like seeing the river. You know what I mean? The same right here for the fields. I kind of like seeing them. So even though I could cover the entire map with like, you know, these platforms and create ad additional space that way. Does that really make it look any better? I think it's fine. No, I haven't rebuilt the bakeries yet. I am not the biggest fan of it. I'll, I'll just go ahead and put my bakeries down over here for now. Maybe it's something I can consider at a later time, but... Oh, I can't put three like this now. So one of them can do cattail crackers. The other one can do bread. And this one can do maple pastries. This one is going to be on pause, though, because I don't really need it. Printing press doesn't have power. Why do you not have power anymore? Oh, it's because you were hugging the other structure. It's okay. I don't have any wood anyway. We just need to wait until my maple trees grow. They're coming along nicely, though. Okay, let's destroy those. And now we'll plant down maples there, too. Replacing every single bit of usable space here, for the most part, with maples. Just because I need quite a bit of uh, wood. These give four logs. These give eight. Two... Yeah, they're, they're definitely the best as far as, like, logs go. Yeah, but birch trees suck ass, man. Nine days for one log, whereas these are 30 days for eight. That's basic math. I mean, I'm not that desperate for, uh, for logs. They're a good early game type of thing. I don't know why I've never bothered doing that, but... Okay, fine. Five pine trees can remain over there. Oh yeah, you can definitely lose in this game. I've heard. I've ne it's never happened to me, though. I've never uh, had that problem, but I've heard other people lose. No, I've failed plenty. Is that above water? I don't think so. <laughs> I would have to fill it in with levees. And then we could... That's something we could do. I could build an entire extra floor inside of this area. Which is going to make it contain less water. So maybe not very efficient. But then I could build, like, an entire floor of uh, metal platforms out of thin air above my swimming pool, dude. That ultimately would look pretty cool. I need to refill my water bottle, guys. Do you think I'm in any trouble? I need to wait until my trees grow anyway. I should probably save before I go AFK. Alright, I'll be back in one minute. Do you guys want to see a kitten? D do you want to see a kitten?
got a very sleepy little kitten right outside my door. Ooh. Sorry, did I wake you up by opening the door? Ooh, tough life, dude. All right, fine, I'll put you back. Life as a kitten is very hard. You guys, you guys just don't get it. All right, you gotta like sleep and, you know, eat and be annoying, that sort of thing. Did we die, guys? Are we okay? I think we're all right. Hey, by the way, I didn't plan on streaming this game the whole stream today, but... Oh, well. Does he know? He doesn't know? A beaver died? It's okay, we don't care about a beaver. I mean, I do care about my beavers. Beavers aren't a resource, chat. Why would you even... Say that. Uh, some of my maples are now growing. That's nice. God, it's really cold here, man. It's 19 degrees. Ugh. I don't know. It's like one person watching watching this. Like I don't know. All the way from Greenland or something. Thinking that is very warm. Look, it's fucking cold. Okay. Get with the times. <laughs> do I have a heater? I do. But then I would have to get up and go to the corner of my... Okay, fine. I had to turn an entire knob for like a little bit, okay? You keep your house at a comfortable 21 degrees? 21 is pretty neat. I agree. Yeah, below 20 is a bit low. That was a lot of effort, man. Did you see that? Back in the day, when humans used to like live in the wilderness and stuff, <clears throat> they probably had to take a little bit more effort to heat up their homes. It's minus 40 degrees where you live, Pulsar? I'm pressing X for doubt. Look at this. Sleep. Absolutely no effects on these dudes. That means 24-hour shift, boys. Thirst? Beaver will die if unsatisfied. Hunger. Beaver will also die when unsatisfied. Sleep does nothing. Um, I was thinking, yeah, that's not a bad suggestion. Maybe I should do a monument. This one takes 400 planks. Got quite a few of those. What did I get out of those again? 
A walking speed plus 30%. That's actually huge. All right. So I want to put this right here, right next to uh, the laborer monument. Wow. There's no way it's minus 40 degrees outside where you're at. Minus 40 degrees. That's that's a crazy amount. Maybe. But I feel like that's a strong maybe. Oh no, I don't want to live in a place that's minus 40. Thank you very much. <laughs> Look, I think the Netherlands is cold. We get up to like minus 10. For like three days. It's actually already been pretty cold, but... That's very cold, Gabe. Why are you being toxic? Dude, minus 40 degrees? Happens a lot here. You're in Alberta. Winnipeg? Win Winnipeg? Win I don't know how you pronounce that. Minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit is the same in Celsius. There you go. That's your fun fact for the day. It's the same in Fahrenheit as in Celsius. I only learned this because of Frostpunk. See? Anyways, you don't feel much difference from minus 25 to minus 35. It just gets super dry. Oh my god. Oh, you live in Northern Greenland? Or oh, you lived in Northern Greenland? It was minus 40 degrees Celsius there often. Oh my god. I hate the idea, guys. What if you get stuck in your home? You can't get, you know, what are you going to do? It's like a lifetime, uh, like, like a, like a full-time job just to half survive. Doesn't have to be that, guys. You, you don't have to, you know. <laughs> you don't have to necessarily live in a place where you have to spend half your week just trying to not die. <laughs> Ugh. I do, I don't know, I do like the Netherlands, but temperature here is definitely a bit of a meme. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. But we do get all four seasons, and even though Dutch people complain about the weather all the time, I think it's pretty good. Got a lot of rain, though. Yeah, I guess you need very warm clothes. How do you have to make sure you're not getting snowed in? I guess you have to get rid of the snow every day. How 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 far in advance do you have to like heat up your car? Like if, you can't drive, can you? Can you at what point does petrol freeze? <laughs> Dumb question, maybe. But like at what point does your car just refuse to do anything? Oh. There's winter petrol? Really? Yeah, what about water in your car radiate? Uh, radiator? Isn't that gonna like... Or just regular radiators, I guess. It's... Oh, car batteries? Car batteries, I guess. We plug our cars in to keep them warm. How do Russians remove ice every day? I don't know. How do... This is a video? Dead and cold battery is the main thing to worry about. There's a thing called a block heater. So wait, what is a block heater? 
It just heats up the block of your car? Oh, wow. It's like a device you plug into your... Like, just your, your regular power adapter. And then it goes into the... The front of the car? Huh. Yeah, like, straight into the engine block? Do I have that on my car? Maybe. But, for example, when it's very cold in the Netherlands... Oftentimes, I feel like I have to pull my door, like in the, the car door, or like the, the car lock. Doesn't it just like... Is it possible for your car door to just be completely frozen? I guess so. That's rough, man. Yeah, my log sp supply is the biggest problem right now. We'll prioritize uh, maple pastries. I don't have that many of those, if any. They love eating them, I guess. Yeah, they're a big fan. Carrying speeds, pretty good. I hate the days where I have to wear a jacket to the car. Okay, Motlesis. Motlesis lives in Southern California. All this talk about cold weather. When Motlesis thinks about cold weather, it's when he has to wear a jacket. A very thin jacket. <laughs> I don't know if I would like that either, though. I mean, I w don't get me wrong. I would much prefer living in Southern California than in a place where it gets minus 30 in the winter. That, that seems, you know. But it's also kind of boring, right? Like, at some point, it's just kind of like... It's just nice weather the whole year round. Like, you don't appreciate nice weather. What, what what do people in California do when it rains? Did it just go stand outside in the middle of the road? Because <laughs> I've seen videos of people, uh, you know, in very hot countries just looking up at the air at rain coming down. They forget how to drive in California? Okay. Minus 8 or... Minus 18. <laughs> 18, rather. When it rains in California, they get into car accidents. Oh, God. There's my flame of progression. It rained last week, actually. You forgot your umbrella. You have an umbrella? I don't even have an umbrella, what this is. <laughs> I wish that was a New joke. Subscriber I had an umbrella, but Laurent put it in the Underscore? in the train at some point and forgot taking it. And uh, yeah, I think we have one in the car actually. I'm not exactly sure. How do you deal with the water? You just walk through it. <laughs> hey, thank you, Linux. I appreciate you. Thank you for the three months. Oh my, what? No, dude. Okay, what the hell? Don't tell me this is a thing. Mate. Man, I'm not necessarily the biggest fan of the Netherlands, but fuck that, man. Like, I can't. <laughs> He's just doing a light tap with a hammer to, you know, uh, no. I think he was speaking Russian, yeah. That's a light tap for Russians. Fair enough. That's a mallet loco, not a hammer. All right. How are you even going to drive, though? How are you going to drive anywhere in that sort of weather? Don't you just get, like... Don't you just get... I don't know. Yeah, very carefully.
Yeah, you can get winter tires and you can get those spike things on your tires as well. But it's going on Apple. Uh, this is the smallest map. Yes, sir. So wait, what do you do, Muktafus? You just keep it on? How can you keep your con a car on 24-7? Or even worse, guys. Imagine this. It's very cold outside, right? There's that much ice on your car. You're sitting inside because you're being smart and you're not going out, right? Imagine this, the internet breaks. Someone has to come over, but they can't. You're without internet for like three months until springtime comes around. <sighs> yeah, what are you gonna do then? What was life gonna be like, dude? What are you gonna do? What if the internet tubes freeze? <laughs> 